And how much does section weigh? It's about, uh, this one's about 1,500. And then the other piece is about 1,300. It's pretty good there. Uh, Ran out of. Yeah. We have to shorten these chains up. Get there. See, the previous building that we were in when we, when we bought Tier K, it had very low ceilings. Down. No. Okay. You want to come over here? Yeah. Try to hold this in line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Inside here. I don't know if you can follow me. Look through here and line that up. Good. What's the pin size on those? 80. 80 mil. Yeah, it lined up pretty good. So when you ship it to the customer, though, would, would that, that pin already be in? Those pins already be in there? Yeah, yeah. I think we uh, we preassemble everything. So all they got to do is uh, hook it up to the machine, and then they figure out what angle they want it at. Do we typically have to sell them a three-hole positioner at the same time? Yeah, yeah. We want to be able to pick up dimes with this thing. So uh, Caleb. Uh, I guess meant to leave these a little bit longer just in case we had to trim one or the other okay. to make it match perfectly. So, can you, can you open it slightly so just we can, we can see that? Yep. Yeah. What's the weight of this entire apparatus though? Uh, 3,000. 3,000? Yeah. Okay. Or roughly about 3,000. What do you got for you have 6,000 or? Yes, yeah. 6,000. Still good? So do you think you could pick up a dime? <laughs> per yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty, that looks really good. Yeah, lined up really good. Do they, does the uh, ends of these wear out at all? The tips of these? Oh, uh, I'm sure over time they would, yeah. They, they make that, uh, these plates, top and bottom here, actually all these plates are AR. AR 400? Yeah. So. Now do you notice the welding, the AR versus mild steel, do you notice any difference? If so, it's, not, not enough that to be noticeable. No. You don't you don't have to change anything on your no. settings or anything like that. But generally, they use these for demolition work, right? Right. Can we? Can they put a hydraulic? Could they put a hydro, something hydraulic on this after? Oh, I'm sure they could. Yeah. 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 But we're just we're just not putting a hydraulic uh, cylinder on it. No. But so does it actually change the design of these two plants? Uh, I, I don't know about that. I, you'd have to check with Caleb on that. I'm Caleb. I'm a CAD designer. I'm Thomas. I'm a sales rep. I'm Adam. I'm a CAD specialist. Just so that they're like 
who are these guys? <laughs> oh, I want to be a cat specialist. <laughs> Can I change mine? Anybody right there. So one of the questions Fraser was asking though, how easy would it be to turn this into a hydraulic coupler? All we need to do is add a cylinder. That's it. It's already pre-set up that the yeah, this pivot, base plate would take the cylinder. This pivot point at the back was designed to be used with a mechanical stiff arm and a cylinder upgrade. Which is something that we will offer for these grapples as well too. Right. Um, and was this cut on our water jet table? Yes. Most of the plates were cut on the water jet table. I believe there was some plasma cutting involved too, but the majority of it was water jet cut. And the back is all T1 plate, as well as all the ribs, the upright arms, and all the gusseting. And any working surface that'll contact the material that you're going to be grabbing is AR400 grade. So it's built for a long life, really tough box frame. Where did we source our steel? From Canadian suppliers and US suppliers. The top plate is engineered, set up and engineered, ready for lugging for any machine in that weight range. So all we need from our customer is what machine they want to put this on. And we can have those years on in 48 hours, really. We have a 20 ton John Deere. So if we were to test this, would we be able to put our ears and remove them without ruining the integrity? Absolutely. Yeah. We make our base plates extra thick for a long life. Now this is a big one. Is there a smaller one we're making or a bigger one we're making? We've made bigger ones. We have designs for bigger ones up to you know, 50, 60 ton excavators. We've made them down to eight to 12 ton size machines. So when you get into the smaller weight classes though, it almost becomes not economical for our customers and us to build them due to the fact of all the engineering and time that would go into actually making it in compared to buying the Chinese options that are out there. Yeah, for you, these, you, could, you, can get a, you can get a cheaper grapple shipped over here in a container. But it won't be made as well as ours. No, it won't be made as well as ours. It won't be designed as well. What makes our design great? Is there any pinpoints you can point out? Caleb and Adam designed it. That's it. <laughs> we make sure that our one one thing we make sure of is that this for any weight class, it's it's ready for your machine. Like I said, we could get the lugging set up in 48 hours. All we need to know is the machine that we're working with, and it's ready to go. Set up for a quick coupler. This model set up for a quick coupler. So you don't have to worry about any extra pins or pulling pins or whatnot. They're setting up the lugging here, but these pin pins will clear any coupler or anything on your machine. It's ready to go. And it works very good with our severe duty coupler as well. Yep, yep. But that being said, it's been designed to work with any any pin style quick coupler. But this, it, the geometry is specific to our quick coupler. So if you've got a Lifco manual severe duty coupler, this will work perfectly and it'll just right off the truck be able to get to work. How long did it take you to design? Oh. I don't know, Adam. <laughs> uh, it took about a week, week and a half. And that was, yeah, that was the, um, the revised design, tweaked it up. Yes. What revision are we on? This would be revision two. We've been making these for probably since 2018, so 
and through making this one, we found some new ways to make it easier for us to make it later, so there will be mm -hmm. a revision three. Make it faster, make it tougher. Always room for improvement. Always room for improvement. I mean, the lighter, the lighter we can get it, the better it'll be for the customer while still working uh, and right. be having being tough, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, fr the first time seeing it together, from you on the computer to for this this grapple, yes, yeah. We've been watching it over the last few yeah. days get fitted and welded. It's always nice seeing it come together.